I'm here on my magical thing with Oberon Zell. It's a privilege to meet you, sir. Wizard, psychologist, author, artist, pagan, co-founder of the Church of All Worlds, uh, founder and editor of Green Egg magazine, which I remember as a young pagan in the British Isles, being this amazing document that pointed really beautifully to a, an emerging North American paganism um, with radical culture and also this kind of sci-fi edge, which I really, really uh, grokked, to use a word that I learned from your magazine. So, Oberon, it's great to have you here. Glad to be here, Josh. All right. Please maybe see your magical thing, Oberon. Well, uh, when you mentioned that magical thing is the subject here, this would definitely be my contribution to that. This is my figurine of uh, Mother Earth, the millennial Gaia, and she's um, got all of the life forms throughout all of history are embedded in the figure. And she is the result of the most powerful transformative um, revelation, vision that I ever had in my life, which was 50 years ago. This, this year, uh, this September, will be the 50th anniversary of my great vision that I call the Theogenesis vision, in which um, tripping balls, I transversed all the way back through the entire river of DNA of my history and the history of all life, <clears throat> back to the very beginning. And, um, and, and life, complex life on Earth, life on Earth amid, emerged here first, as soon as there was water, there was life in it. But it was single cell life for 200, I'm sorry, for two and a half billion years. There was nothing more complicated. It was like, you know, eggs waiting to be fertilized. And half a billion years ago, that moment of fertilization occurred in what we call the Cambrian explosion. And all the complex life that we have today, the entire biosphere is all derived from that single moment of time and carries the same genetic blueprint, the HOX genes. And so I had this revelation that this is how we begin life. And each of us as an individual begins with a fertilized cell, a zygote. For, you know, an egg fertilized by a sperm. And so the proliferation and complexification of trillions of cells that make us up, we still remain one single organism, one single living being. And with this revelation, I realized that as, well, in my dream, in my vision, you know, I rose up above the earth and looked down upon it as I saw life proliferating and expanding throughout every corner of the globe. And I realized that what we call evolution is simply embryology on a planetary scale, that the entire biosphere of Earth is a single, precisely biological organism. And this was a great revelation. And, um, and I wrote it all up in an article called Theogenesis, and it got widely published and circulated several years before James Lovelock came up with his more uh, widely known Gaia hypothesis. But this really was the first iteration of that notion, really. But a different one. In, instead of, uh, Lovelock looked at the Earth system from the outside in. He observed that the systems in the planetary atmosphere look like something generated by a living being. He used the example of a snail shell. But for me, it was different. It was from the inside out. And I don't think that perspective has yet percolated through the general public. But it galvanized the pagan movement and the, the Gaia notion, a Gaia thesis, as I like to call it, became the fundamental operating theology of the entire pagan movement, which now at close to four million people, according to surveys, is considered the second largest religion in the Western world, certainly in North America, which is really quite, quite neat. And she is the representation of all of that. And I made this figure 20 years ago. And it's become enormously popular in just everywhere, everywhere in the world. It's a millennial Gaia. And she's available in several sizes, including great big giant sizes and all that. So that's my magical thing there. And um, I'm very pleased with it. And this gave rise to, well, a lot of other things in my life. I know uh, right now my big topic is the awakening, the 2020 vision that I call it. And I have a website for 2020 vision Awaken, which I recommend people to check out because I feel that we are on the threshold of the awakening of Gaian planetary consciousness and that that's what we will be seeing in this coming decade. So that's that's the general gist of it. 
Over on that's fantastic, Matt. I really grok where you're coming from there. Uh, that's really appreciated. Thank you so, so much for all of your work and for introducing us to the, the fabulous Gaia in that form. Take it easy, man. Peace. All right. And to you. <laughs>